Hello Gemini Club members and welcome to your extended Tarascope for the week ahead. As you can see the three cards that we have already read and already dealt are here on screen and I have added in two more tarot cards and an animal spirit oracle as well. So just to do a recap on the three cards that we've already drawn, telling you that there's decisions to be made, telling you that you have choices and options and decisions to be made, which may be overwhelming you a little bit. But here we have with the Six of Wands, the Six of Wands is talking about victory. It's talking about success. It's talking about everybody coming out to greet you, to welcome you and to cheer you on because you have succeeded in everything that you've done okay so it's telling you that the choice that you make is going to be the right one and here we have the air dragon telling you that your mind is incredibly powerful telling you your mind is powerful which also means when it comes to making decisions when it comes to making choices and things like that we mustn't make it from a place of emotion we mustn't make it from a heart space we actually need to make the decisions based purely on logic on intellect and on pros and cons list almost okay don't allow emotions to come into it because that's what the air dragon is saying to you so i understand how overwhelming this can be gemini i really do understand that it, it can be incredibly because there's so many what if scenarios there's so many but like what if it doesn't please other people what if i disappoint somebody what if i hurt somebody what if i let somebody down what if what if what if what if what if so let's have a look and see from this tarot card if it wants to offer some kind of understanding or explanation with regards to this overwhelm let's see what we get let's see if i can pick it up okay so we have the lovers card and it's not just gorgeous with the seahorses absolutely gorgeous so i love my animal theme that we've got going this week um so gemini the lovers card is telling you is that the decision and the choices that you have to make this week has got to do with how you partner with somebody else it doesn't have to mean lovers in the romantic sense. It doesn't have to mean that at all. It, it doesn't have to mean relationship. But it's how you connect and partner with somebody else. That's the decision. So obviously it could be a work-related thing. It could be, you know, how do you work with a particular person? Or how do you work with a particular situation? Or how do you work with a particular circumstance? But this lover's card is saying to you that you need to make the decision based on how well you work with okay how well you connect with how well you interact with that is how you make this decision and this choice that is going to be the best option for you so it's not based on heart as much as as much as that is but it's based on logic of how well you work together how well you fit how well you connect and how well you interact with the other person let that be the way that you make the decision and remember it doesn't necessarily have to be specifically a person or a romantic endeavor but it could absolutely just be you and an opportunity, you and a situation. Okay, very interesting. So this victory, this celebration that we have over here, let's see what else Spirit want to add to that particular. We have the Six of Swords. So here we have was the Seven of Cups, Six of Wands, and now we've got the Six of Swords. And the Six of Swords, and it's interesting that both of these are what we call movement cards, okay? But here, in the, in the Six of Wands, it was you returning. It was you coming back from a journey. It was you returning from a journey. And the Six of Swords that we have here is actually you leaving. It's actually you embarking on, all right? So maybe, I, maybe we, in, we interpreted this wrong. Although, no, because the interpretation is you returning after doing the thing. But maybe this is you leaving, to go and be successful and to go and be but no I'm, I'm i'm confusing myself because that's not the interpretation of the card six of swords is the card which says to you, you you take everything that you have and you embark on a new adventure you embark on a new journey you go to a new place in the hopes that it is better than where you've left i think when i now look at all of these that we have here these four the decision and the choices that you have to make is about working with another person, connecting with another a person, an individual or a situation. There will be success for you because you will have done incredibly well. You will do well with this situation. So there's going to be that success for you. There's going to be that wonderful opportunities for you. And the Six of Swords is saying that once we have accomplished this, once we have succeeded, once we have achieved everything that we need to, it will allow you to move forward in your life. But you do have to make this decision first, achieve the success of that situation first before you can move on to the next adventure and the next opportunity.
like that. Good. All right, so Gemini, here we have a spirit animal oracle. And I know we've got spirit animal energy already on the table, but I, I just I specifically want to know which spirit animal is working with you this week and what message do they have. And it'll be interesting to see how it ties into air dragon energy as well. So what we have here is beaver spirit. Okay. And it says lay a solid foundation. Okay. And that to me ties in beautifully with these two cards. Actually, even with that one. Because those what that's what these three together are saying. These three together are saying, let's lay that solid foundation so that we can. Once that is done, we'll be able to move on to bigger and better. But we have to do this first. We have to accomplish this first. We have to have success here first. We need to recognize that our mind is our biggest ally, our biggest uh, um, positive that we have going for us. And the beaver spirit is saying, if you lay a solid foundation first, anything and everything is going to be possible for you. Awesome. Oh, I'm loving that for you, Gemini. So Gemini, have a successful week. Have a good week ahead with lots of love and blessings from my heart to yours. Thank you.